So Messi just two games away from winning the only trophy to elude him, the World Cup. Many regard him as the best player of all time. Does he need to win that World Cup to secure the title? Chris was saying in the last hour, absolutely not. He's regarded as that anyway. But Danny, when you think about Messi's first Ballon d'Or was in 2009. He's won it seven times. How do you dominate the game for that long? He's a freak. <laughs> Simple as that. I mean, the, the ability that he has. And this is why I talk about there, there are... Take the numbers out of it. You know, the, the, the numbers between Messi and Ronaldo are very, very similar. The original Ronaldo, I think, is, is up there with Messi in terms of they both do things that other players can't do. But I've not seen anybody do what Messi does. Some of the passes that he makes, some of the dribbles that he does, the way that he thinks about the way the way that he must see the game yep. is almost different to everybody else on the planet. That pass that he made the, the other night, to even see that pass, let alone execute it in that way with pure precision, to thread it through the eye of a needle and then another eye of a needle and then another one <laughs> <laughs> with the perfect. And then another weight. one. <laughs> yeah, with the perfect weight on it. Even to see that, not you know, let alone to try it. Yeah. is exceptional. Some of the goals, the way that he dribbles with the ball, I've not seen a player do that ever before. And, and, and again, I didn't see enough of Maradona live. I didn't see enough of Pelé live to, to compare him to those. So I'm talking about of my generation. Messi is, for me, easily the greatest individual that I've seen. Uh, Chris, the, Pelé and Maradona, they didn't win the Ballon d'Or because it was only European players it's, uh, until 1995, so that's a little bit different. Now, the French... <coughs> Football, they did a, a re evaluation, said that Pele would have won it seven times, Maradona would have won it twice. I mean, so, so that's the kind of re evaluated one. It's strange that Maradona there with, with just the two, but Pele up there with Messi, would you argue that they are quite rightly considered to be the best two ever? Because I know Cristiano Ronaldo would have something to say with, about that, and certainly Maradona too. Tom, I'll be honest. That just does nothing for me because, you know, in terms of reevaluating it, you can make whatever you want to make of it. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I mean, it's, you'll deal in black and white and, and, and facts. But there's no doubt what Pele done for Brazil, um, you know, the 50s, 60s, unbelievable for his career. Maradona for what he done as well. Obviously, Argentina and then went in uh, Napoli and, you know, was a first you, you, could, you could even throw, if you're going to go back that and reevaluate it, you could throw George Best into that. But and, actually, and that's. Look at, and that, look at the sort of player yeah, that, just, that he was. Yeah. You, you look at. <laughs> You look at Messi and, and Ronaldo as well, you know, like what they have, you know, they've taken the game to a, a, like, you know, individual heights to a new level. And, you know, you, you look at, you know, the, 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 the players who are, who are there, Patina Croy, Van Basten, yeah. obviously Maradona's there as well. But, you know, you, you look at and even like Ronaldo, the Brazilian one, Zidane, like people, are, they were unbelievable football players. But they're just never going to be spoken about in that level because of what Lionel Messi and Chris. It's the longevity you, you, of what they've done. When you go back to some of those players, Maradona, Van Basten, Cruyff, Platini, there were there were a lot more great players at, at the top level in and around at, at that point. When you think of some of the great teams, <laughs> and you just mentioned, you know, Zidane. They look at the French team: Zidane, Henri. You know, all those sort of players that were around. It was much much harder for them to be the standout. Rude Hullet. Surprised he's not, you know, if Van Basten's in there, Hullet's Hull not in there. There were some incredible players, you know, at those times. I think it's just because of, of what Messi and Ronaldo have. I mean, there are still incredible players. I mean, you look at Xavi, Iniesta, Luka Modric. You know, these guys are unbelievable football players. And would rightly, you know, could easily have won a Ballon d'Or if these two weren't around. You know, the, the, as Danny said, Lionel Messi is a freak. And you've got to say so is Cristiano Ronaldo for what he has done for football. You know, I think Ronaldo, um, Messi was born with a gift. Yep. You know, he's, and you look at Ronaldo has worked for every single thing he's got. There's obviously a talent in there as well, no doubt. But, you know, you look at the two of them and it's just, they've just went, they've took, you know, football to a new level. And as I said, you feel sorry for the other ones, but you don't feel sorry for them because they're unbelievable yeah. players. But they're not mentioned in the same bracket because of and, and because it, of these Zidane, two. Zidane doesn't even get a mention. Oh, for France football, by the way, I had Mills and Boyd with one each. Um, but <laughs> one, one that's more. when you know it's yeah. a load of rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, 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 a croissant each. <laughs> we get from French football. One, one <laughs> argument about oh, you've, you've got to have won the World Cup to to be like the greatest and world class and everything like that. I was going to use the example there of George Best. It would be very difficult for George Best 
to win the World Cup. Eusebio? But, yeah, but Portugal and Northern, Northern Ireland, you see what I mean? Eusebio course, probably you, would have had a, but it's a, you, a better you, chance, you even need, Northern Ireland, very good But you nation. need a team around you, and, and that's the whole point of it. Even Maradona still had good players around him. You know, people got to make he won, you know, he won World Cups on his own. And there were some magnificent performances. I think well, like Mario Kempis and people as well. People forget, like even before him, I mean, they, were, they were unbelievable football players. But again, you know, Maradona was that standout player in that team. Um, you know, and uh, Franz Beckenbauer, Lothar Matthias. Yeah. But, you know, the, some, <laughs> some, but you know, what I mean, when, when you go back and look at that list, there were some exceptional players. You know, at that time, that, that just that's I can't, I can't the, Ballon buy into it. the Ballon d'Or. I think was re if it would have existed, it would have been real contested. It's just for the last, what, I don't know, 15, 20 years, it's basically been Messi, Ronaldo, and then Modric was thrown in. But if you, if you until look they at, almost retired, and, and obviously. If you look at it right now, if we, if we speak about, you know, in terms of, you know, the next generation that's coming through, um, you know, Mbappe's obviously on the world stage, but Haaland, what we're going to just discard him because he, I mean, there's absolutely no chance Norway are going to win a World Cup. Yeah. So you can't, you know, if. if if he continues at this rate in 10 years' time, well, he wasn't a great because, you know, Norway didn't win the World Cup. It doesn't work like that. I think, you know, you've got to look at the overall package. Um, you know, and, and there is no doubt that um, I don't think you need to win the World Cup to be regarded as the greatest, no matter what.